How do I say all this? Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kaynator Gaming, and it's time for some more Minecraft modded Ocean Block. And yes, my hat is amazing. Uh, you can't really see it well, but it is, yes, it is a cat standing on my head. In this episode, we are going to be doing a number of things. First things we're going to do, first things, first thing we're going to do is build a boat. We're going to set sail, start some exploration, as well as hopefully by the end of the episode, build the auto hammer and start automating some of our stuff over here. As you might see, there have been a couple changes since the end of the last episode. There's this right here. This is a botany plot, which if you've played in the other mod packs, this is essentially the bonsai pot, but a little bit different. Everything works the same, but it's just some different materials. I have corn planted in here, so it's going to automatically grow the corn, which grows into here. I grab it, I eat it, so on and so forth. It's not a great food source, but it works for right now. We also have our cobblestone generator set up, making cobblestone for us. But yeah, let's get straight into building this boat. Now, I don't think we have all the resources needed yet, but we'll see. Now, this is what we're going to be making. This is an oak cog, part of the small ships mod. Now, there are some bigger ones you can make, but we're going to start off by just building the basic small one. And yeah, I don't know if we'll have enough. I know we have the boats, the chest, and a little bit of strength. But the sail requires a little bit more. So we'll see if we have enough. But man, that slime, he keeps coming around here. Whoa, check out that one over there. That dude's got a giant Steve on his head. Too bad he's way over there. And I don't feel like getting over there to fight him. Yo, that's a Lego. There's so many hats. Yo. What? We've got to quickly check out these hats. Alright, what are the hats we just unlocked? We unlocked... Black Rabbit Mask, even though he doesn't wear it on his face. The Wither Boss? It, you can wear the Wither's head. Okay, that's amazing. Um, the Lego head. <laughs> My brother would really like that one. And a Christmas present. Wow. Oh, yeah, and here's the one we were wearing. The cute ocelot hat is what it's called. Um, I think we're going to switch to the uh, Lego head for a little bit. I think that's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll go get some of this. This is how we're going to get our string. Storming pretty hard right now. So this might actually take a little bit longer than I thought, as we don't quite have enough string to craft this thing. I believe we are... Ugh, we are barely short. We are only three strings short of what we need. As to build the cog, we have everything we need for it, except the main centerpiece, which is the sail. The sail needs five wool, two leads, and two logs. Well, we have... Oh. <laughs> never mind, we have everything we need. I just don't know how to craft things. I didn't realize I'd already put in the string. Yeah, never mind, we got everything. Ta-da! Okay, okay. We have now crafted the oak cog. And I guess I just hold it like this. I'm assuming I just... Oh, <laughs> I get a parrot for this. That's great. What's my random reward? A destruction core. Sounds dangerous. Irrelevant. Boat. Yo, that's awesome. How does this work? I'm confused. Okay, whenever you don't know what to do... For a mod pack, just look it up, the mod pack itself, and see if there's something to tell you. Uh, oh, we can build bigger boats eventually. Uh, can't craft cannons or cannonballs. How do I sail this thing? How do I sail this? So, upon some research, I believe I hit this button. Ha ha! There we go. Now we're sailing. Wow, okay. I totally did not have to look up how to do all that. And then I believe, yes, it even has an inventory. Wow, now that is cool. And this is the level one boat. There's a bigger one than this. This will certainly make it a lot easier to travel. And then just do 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 do, and the boat slows down. Wow, okay, we're definitely gonna explore for a little, see if there's anything unique to find out here. 
A lot of little rafts here and there. I see a bigger one over there. I think we're gonna go check out that. I guess this is how you scavenge these boats. Instead of swimming to them, you sail to them. And you don't have to craft a regular boat. Which, you might say, well, what's the reason? Why would I bother crafting such a big boat? Well, it has an inventory. So this is also, you know, storage you can sail with, which is kind of convenient. So far, this loot doesn't seem crazy extraordinary. So we're gonna destroy this purple barrel and hope we get something good out of it. Oh no, I misclicked. Oh wait, I can just throw this pickaxe, can't I? <laughs> oh! No! Oh, a lost trinket. Oh, that's a quest. What is it? Oh, I got two quests. Ah, oh, there's a bunch more. Oh, the request for breaking all the loot boxes. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, instead of claiming them, we're going to wait a little bit. That way we can get them all at once. Because that's cooler, if you ask me. All right, I think that's all the looting we're going to do right now. Let's head back to our base real quick. Uh, where is our base? That didn't take long to get lost. All right, there we go. Whoa, 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 hold up. You see that? I see a lot down there. That looks like some sort of water temple, and I don't know what that is. Okay, that's not terrifying at all. We're gonna um, ignore that right now, but something tells me that that will be important later. Well, all in all, I think that was a very successful... I don't know what you want to call it. Raiding party? I mean, we didn't raid the rafts. They were already empty. We pillaged them. Well, pillaging still sounds mean. I don't know. It was a good looting run. That's what we'll call it. We looted the rafts. Well, I think that went pretty well. We got a lot of loot, and now we have a lot of quests. So let's go ahead and get some of these random rewards. First one, Pity Machine Frame. No idea what that is. Hey, birch top roof. We got some oak oak roof loft last time. White laser lens. And our final one. Di Ooh, diamond cluster. I hope that's more than one. Yo! That's a lot. That's that's very very good. Like really really good. Huh. I'm pretty sure that actually gives us quite a few diamonds. I'm assuming... maybe not. Maybe I assumed too much. I don't know what we do with those diamond clusters. Let's find out. Oh, we need to have a high temperature glass jar. Okay. But we do indeed. Each one of those equals a diamond. That is 32 diamonds right there. That is a very good find. Oh, so I changed my hat because I wanted to be a wizard. What can I say? Nabracadabra! Also, you may notice the lag is hopefully nowhere near as bad. I messed around with some settings in OBS, and sure enough, I had them wrong, fixed it, and voila! It's not crystal clear, but it's a lot smoother than it was the last two episodes. But now that we've done that, as fun as that was, we need to get back to focusing on this. Getting our automatic system so we can get more minerals. Oh, I also forgot. We have this one. Ender tank. Oh, I know what those are. Those are really good. So while in the process to get the auto hammer crafted, I accidentally stumbled upon something. So right now we have been doing all this to get gold because gold is how we're going to get a gold mesh for the sluice, which is going to make it so that when we sieve sand, we can get no sieve dust. We can get redstone, which ultimately is what we need to make the auto hammer. But anyway, while I was waiting for this to happen, I decided to figure out how I could smelt down and get these diamonds. Well, it turns out they can only be melted down in the tempered jar if you have what's known as high temperature. And that is what the soul fire is. Now, I actually had to craft this. I used soul sand, which you can also make in this. I believe the craft is... Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, the soul sand is just made by putting in sand and liquid mob souls with no temperature, which means nothing under it which I had a bunch of mob souls, which you get from killing everything, essentially. 
And so yeah, made that, and now we can actually smelt down our diamonds, which is very useful. I say that. I say it's very useful. I don't know what I'm going to do with the diamonds, but I'll have them, which is going to be nice. <laughs> so we now have enough gold to craft our gold mesh. And in the process of getting the gold mesh crafted, I decided I figured out what I wanted to spend the diamonds on. And that is on a diamond sluice. So let's get this all thing out of the way. And replace it with the new and improved diamond sluice. Along with, wait for it, wait for it, probably got it backwards, no I didn't, the gold mesh. Which is awesome. The golden mesh is what increases our chances of getting certain minerals. The diamond sluice actually just makes it perform faster. So if we look here, yeah, all it does is actually go faster. It actually uses more liquid now, which is fine because it's a piece of cake to get water in there. But the main thing is we are now getting much faster uh, sluicing. Sluicing, sieving, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's going faster. We're also going to claim this real quick. Wow, that is some very compressed blocks right there. And our random reward, which was a band of mana. We've done it. We've made the iron auto hammer. Although I have no idea how it works. Oh, we also made the jar auto processing block. Another thing I have no idea how it works. But anyway, more importantly, random reward, ice seeds. Okay, another random reward. Great fairy ring. When worn as a ring, plus 0.25 pixie spawn chance. Oh yeah, I'll wear that. No idea what it does. And ice seeds. I'm assuming ice seeds grow ice because that makes sense. Hmm. You can make snow out of them. And ice. I don't see the crazy usefulness of that, but hey, that's cool. I like it. So now we've got to go and figure out how this auto hammer works. I'm just going to set it down here. Does this need energy? That looks like energy port. That, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I've been here before. I'm confused. We'll figure out how this things work. Don't you worry. So I was busy trying to figure out how I was going to get the hammer to work. And I did, sure enough. Uh, you just had to put a chest next to it. And yeah, you may have heard that. I was going to get there, but... um. We have a wandering trader here. Um, yeah, his trades are terrible, especially for the slime. But this is rather interesting. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. Leave him here? I mean, what a strange predicament I have found myself in. I wonder if he'll actually leave, or if he's just going to chill out here. What are your plans, good sir? He won't tell me. Hmm. Well, anyway, back to this. I need to find a way to automatically fill this with water because this will automatically sieve itself, you know, put them in. As long as you can pump water into it, it'll be fine. But I need to find a way to automate, automate that, automate that. And I think we found our solution. I was doing some research and it looks like this might be our best chance. What this block does is you put water on every side of it and it will act as a pump. So it will hold water and then you just have to pump the water out of it into the sluice which i'm assuming there's a couple ways to do that i'll find i'll find something that'll work here we go this will work a fluid pipe in the meantime let me show you how the auto hammer is doing it doesn't require watch out for the fire it doesn't require any energy you simply put it next to a chest with whatever you want to put into it and then you put it next to another chest which will have its output so yeah very simple but our goal now is now that we're automatically destroying and, you know, hammering in cobblestone into gravel, we want to put our gravel into a sluice and automatically generate the minerals. But the problem with that is this thing right here doesn't automatically put in water. We have to manually do that. We want to be able to leave and have this thing work. So our goal is to find a solution for that. And I think I found a few, but yeah, I'll get back to you once I have fully automated all of this. So we have successfully crafted everything that we need to get this automated so we're gonna go ahead and do that now oh and uh yes i have a railroad on my head another one of those random hats don't fully understand why they made that one but hey it's kind of cool oh so one of the llamas jumped on the magma block and died anyways we're going to go ahead and grab this as we will need that need that need that i believe we're also going to need to grab 
this right here. Although we're kind of having a problem as we have a few too many materials, especially the cobblestone. So we'll figure something out with that. Go ahead and destroy this. Now, because the sluice needs water and only the, the pump has to be surrounded by it, I've gone ahead and come up to the water as I think that'll be a little bit easier for us if we just have the water right here already. Put that there. Dude, get off my crop. This is like the third slime I have had co go and stomp on my cotton plants. How rude. <gasps> that one has a halo. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's get back over here. So we have this working like that. Okay, so what we need to do, put it in the back here. I believe this has to be surrounded on all four sides by water. Let's see, is this working? Yes, it is. Huzzah. Now what we'll do is hopefully get rid of the slowness in a second. Oh, goodness. There we go. So let me put that there. Is that still okay? And now I have crafted what are fluid pipes, which automatically transfer the liquid. You just have to make sure you designate the in, the in area, the input. So right there. Oh, 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 I did it. And then I destroyed it. No, I'll get this figured out. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna figure it out. No, what did I do the first time? Fifth is confusing. There we go. Haha, -ha! we've got it working. It was, uh, hey, like my hat. It was a bit of a process. Okay, so now we have that. Wow, nice hat. We have this automatically getting water, so next step is to put that there, put that there, that there. Now I need to go ahead and grab our cobblestone generator and it should all be working. So in the process of setting up our auto sluice, I have also decided that we're gonna switch up our cobblestone generator as I was just using a double chest, but I've decided I'm going to upgrade to storage drawers which have insane storage if you upgrade them, which is exactly what I am doing. These drawers simply function as they hold one item and they function as a huge chest, essentially. So what I need to do is get away up here. And then hopefully this works. Slap that there. Put that here. Put that here. And hopefully, there we go. Now this is maxed out at 32, but once I put that on there, and then that on there, hopefully we'll have a lot more storage. Now our cobblestone generator doesn't actually produce enough to, well it produces enough to, whoops, whoops. Now our cobblestone generator right here is barely producing enough to keep up with that. But the reason I made a drawer is because we'll be upgrading the cobblestone generator eventually. And it, I'm assuming, will eventually produce more than the hammer can keep up with. Which is why we're going to use a storage drawer, not a chest. Now let's see how this is going. Okay, that's filling up. And yes, here we go. I don't know how Inferium got in there. I guess that's something you can find. But we are now automatically producing our minerals. And we already have some diamond chunks in there, which is awesome. Hopefully we'll get a couple of these set up eventually, have different uh, blocks being sluiced such as sand and dust, but yeah, that is coming along very nicely. I don't know why I made this a double chest, but I did. So I tweaked the design a little bit after I set it up, and this is actually much more compact. I like it a lot more, but yeah, so this is probably where we'll leave off for the episode. Finishing off our automatic sluice slash hammer slash cobblestone generator. But as you know, before we can finish the episode, we need to do the rest of our quests, reward thingamabobs. We have a bunch of rewards to collect is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and do that. As you see, we have three, four from over here and then one from miscellaneous. Let's start with our miscellaneous one. This is for making our fluid pipe. Auxiliary process sieve. That looks like an upgrade I don't know we'll worry about that later and oh I guess we have that gave us an upgrade uh, a reward for here 
Okay, I guess that piece was for tools slash machine machines. Uh, we're not up to that, but we'll claim it anyway. Imperium packs. Whoa, that. So if you remember last, I don't know if it was first or second episode, we got a Prudentium. This is the next next level up. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, back to questing. Drawers. Silicon. Don't know what that's used for. White elevator. That is very useful. Goodness, are you okay over here? This guy's kind of taken up permanent residence here, so I guess we'll just let him chill. Next reward. More pity machine frames. I don't know what that is yet. Tier 2 storage model, don't know what that is, and that is everything. But yes, white elevators, as I was trying to say, are, I believe, if they're the same that they were before. Let me figure out real quick. Uh, if I put the bottom one here, and then the other one up here, not there right there I'm pretty sure yeah these are very useful but right now I don't really have a need for them so as cool as that is we'll just put it in storage for now and is there a slime here get away from my cotton anyways guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of ocean block